think I've always identified as an artist. I think I, my earliest creative memory was um, actually in kindergarten and already feeling like I had ownership over the marks I was making and the colors that I was putting down. And I remember one of my kindergarten teachers kind of scolded me for coloring outside the lines. And I remember getting really kind of um, offended by it, <laughs> that she was somehow um, judging what I was making in a negative way. So I think it was sort of, um, yeah, a sign of something to come in the future. But yeah, I've always been making stuff. Well, I think that uh, the materials that I'm working with have a lot of layered meaning to them, and I didn't really realize that until much later on in my studio practice, and that a lot of my work was about being a woman, being a young woman in this contemporary world, um, that working with this craft material that is so female dominated currently has all of this really extra information to it that I find to be really important. And my studio practice is pretty broad because it encompasses sculptural works, uh, wall work, and then also I have um, a line of one-of-a-kind jewelry as well. I think that there is humor and irony in this work pretty unintentionally and I believe that there is also like tension in that irony in terms of the works, the works being really like kind of beautiful and flowery and colorful but then it kind of has this other layer this other meaning and kind of like that time that inspired this work really was it's not black or white that life isn't yes or no or left or right that there's a lot of gray area that exists in in so much of our world and that kind of understanding that we're all the kind of existing within the spectrum is huge and I wish someone maybe would have told me that a little bit sooner.